this really has been a, an amazing, amazing journey for me. The, the race has been a fight every single day, something different. Um, crosswinds, rain, mountains, uh, good days in the mountains, bad days in the mountains. Um, the team has, has come under pressure different days. I mean, on one occasion I, I was left right in the front of the race alone. Other days I had teammates with me all the way to the end. It, it, this tour really has had everything thrown at us. Um, and I think it's, it's only fitting for the 100th edition. It really has been a special edition this year. I think the, the first time that I, I thought that, okay, realistically, I could become a GC rider to contend in Grand Tours and races like the Tour de France was during the 2011 Vuelta España. Up until then, I found it very difficult to be able to put uh, my performances keep them consistently high throughout a stage race and um, I'd have good days and good days but uh, and show I think showings of what I was able to achieve but I'd never be able to back it up all the way through but that Volta Espana in 2011 was the first time that I, I was able to do that and that that gave me a lot of confidence and uh, belief in myself that actually I, I do belong in this this uh, group of riders at the front of uh, the general classification. No, no, um, I mean, this is, this is an amazing feeling, absolutely amazing. I mean, uh, everybody keeps on telling me this is, this is life-changing, but I mean, I, I don't want much to change. I really hope things don't change too much for me. Um, I've, I've really enjoyed the challenge this year. Um, month by month, getting closer and closer to it all going up to the altitude camps, targeting other races to, to be in a similar kind of position to get ready for this year's tour. Um, it, it's really been a, a fun challenge and I've, um, I've enjoyed every part of it. Now, I mean, it's, it's very easy to say what I could have done or, or if, if I was able to win the tour last year, win the Vuelta back in 2011, but things were the way they were. and. Um, I still feel I made the best out of those situations and, and did the job to the best of my ability as a professional bike rider. Um, yeah, we definitely have to think on our feet. It's, it's not as, as simple as just listening to the radio and doing what they say. I mean, on today's final climb, for example, um, it was very much a, a, a feeling thing. I mean, I would have loved to have... Um, ridden away and, and tried to win the stage but uh, I didn't have the legs in the last two Ks and, and I also felt that um, those last couple of kilometers today I just felt the just overwhelming feeling of I've, I've actually done this, I'm, I'm, I'm in yellow, uh, this was the last day for GC and um, no one was going to take it away from me in those last two Ks so it was, it was a very emotional feeling, very um, just, a, just that greater realization of, of what I've actually achieved here. It's, it's definitely been a challenge. Um, it's understandable, 100% understandable, given where the sport has come, the history of the sport, and um, I think whoever was going to be in this position, whoever was going to be wearing the yellow jersey, was going to come under this same, same amount of scrutiny, same amount of criticism. Um, by journalists, by fans, and, and I accept that. I, I, I completely understand. I mean, I, I'm also one of those guys who have been let down by the sport. Um, I just hope that through winning this year's tour, I'll be able to help try and change that. I know it's going to take a lot more time, but um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're willing to, to try and do everything it takes to, to show people that the sport has turned around. But it, it, it hasn't taken away from the happiness. I mean, I still, um, it, it, it's made it more challenging. But if anything, that, that just makes it more of a reason to, to celebrate and to, it's another obstacle that I feel I've overcome. Personally, I, I, think, I think the Tour de France is, um, it has to be the, the pinnacle of, of our cycling calendar. And naturally, it, it becomes the most sought after um, sort after victory to, to be able to go for the yellow jersey every year but 
I mean, that, having said that, I think the, the decision would, would be very much based on, on, on the parkour, um, how, how suited it is to me, um, how suited it is to, to my other teammates, and, and also the decision of the team. Um, I'd love to come back and, and keep targeting the Tour de France uh, uh, every year, but um, yeah, that decision has to be made. I think um, when, when the route is announced and, and we know what, what, the, what the position is of the team. Um, first of all, no, I, I haven't heard from Bradley during the tour. Um, and yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I think it's, it's still very early days, but uh, th th there are definitely things I would like to do um, to try and promote cycling in. Um, in Africa, in underdeveloped countries. I mean, this, this tour in itself has been an amazing race in that respect. The fact that um, for the very first time we've seen an African in, in the yellow jersey with, with Dawa Impi uh, from South Africa, I mean, uh, that's, that's historic. Um, and yeah, uh, I'm, I'm really quite sure that also my uh, my performances having been brought, uh, born in Kenya, uh, schooled in South Africa, that uh, it, w it would give a lot of inspiration to, to youngsters there as well.